Hello everyone, Andrew here. I am just going to work after I attended a funeral for a fellow curler at my curling club. Tom Merrick, you're a very good man, a lot of fun to be around, and I'm going to miss you. The funeral itself was held at a church, so it had the usual religious aspects. Other, other than that, it was mostly extremely good. They had uh, three speakers come up, his son, a co-worker, and a fellow golfer. And uh, as much as he loved curling, he loved his golf even more. And their speeches were some of the best I've ever heard at a funeral. They were heartfelt, a lot, f a lot of fun, funny in places, touching in others. And I think everybody there was moved by their speeches. But then, the pastor of the church came up, gave what started off as a pretty good speech about how Tom lived his life to the fullest, and now he's somewhere where he can play golf all the time, doesn't have to worry about pain. Here's the kicker. Who among you will be there with him? Why is anything like that necessary at a funeral? When there are going to be people who aren't of that church Oh, that, no, that's exactly why they're doing it, because there are people who are not of that church, possibly not even of that religion, and for some reason this pastor feels the need to insert his own appeal to terror. And let's face it, it's a, it, it is a veiled threat. Follow, follow our way or go to hell didn't say it quite that many words. He didn't mention hell. He mentioned, will you go to heaven? If you, have you accept, who, among, who among you hasn't accepted Jesus, Jesus into his heart? Now, I'm not sure how the Christians who are going to watch this video feel about this, but in my opinion, a funeral like that is not the time nor the place to do anything like that. A funeral should be about remembering the man or woman who has recently left this life. Even if you're a Christian, just this life, I would say just life, and remembering that person for who they were and honoring the memory of that person. It is not appropriate, in my opinion, for a pastor to make a, an appeal like that. And when he did that, I, I almost said, I, I almost walked out. It was, I felt insulted. I mentioned this in passing to another curler there, how, yeah, I thought it was a nice service, but there was this one moment where I just got angry and he just looked at me it's like I know exactly the moment you thought and it, like you're not the only one <sighs> all right got that off my chest